Not all actions and tasks are created equal. Some have never been done before. Some happening regularly. Or you want to get rid of some tedious tasks altogether while keeping the results. The solution and treatment for each task are different depending on what phase it is currently in. Let me explain. Phase 1. Explore. It is when you are doing something completely new. Maybe it's writing your first book, submitting a proposal, traveling to a new place. In this phase, you do not know what you are doing but figure it out as you go, like trial and error. And that is very important. Slow down and observe every step and forget hyperproductivity. Why? Because you need to be very patient to do it at all. Often it could be intimidating to start just because you expect to be faster than you actually are. Instead, take it easy and you will navigate all the data points flawlessly. Phase 2. Optimize. When you have done a particular task a couple times, then you can optimize and think about hyperproductivity again. Here are some questions you can ask yourself. Are these tasks an outcome important at all? If not a clear yes, eliminate. Another question you can ask is, how can I get rid of as many steps and inefficiencies as possible? And the last one, notice the phrasing here. What hinders me from going faster and how can I solve it? Because by eliminating roadblocks, you go faster by default. That's the human condition. Don't strain or stress to do it. It will happen naturally as you remove all obstacles. Phase 3. Automate. For maximum hyperproductivity, you want to do as little as possible. If a task is extremely step by step, the chances are that IFTTT, Zapier and Make can do it for you. Write down all the steps, configure the triggers and then delegate it for good. You will be amazed at how much you can accomplish without doing anything. And finally, phase 4. Outsource. Inevitably, there will be more complex tasks that require humans. If you have the financial means, I highly recommend hiring a virtual assistant or a friend. This way, you do not need to do anything apart from what you are most capable of, which is the holy grail of hyperproductivity.